Alright, let's just get this out of the way now. Venomous and poisonous are not the same thing. There are countless lists and videos out there titled Top 10 Most Poisonous Animals, which aside from most just being copies of one another, usually have about 8 venomous animals listed. There are venomous animals which inject toxins into prey, and then there are poisonous animals which release toxins into or onto a predator. Now that you properly understand the difference, let's get into the actual intro. Duo Fish Perhaps the most common fear that all humans share is the fear of venomous animals. In fact, the fear of spiders and snakes are the two most commonplace phobias. Usually this fear is misplaced, as the vast majority of snakes and spiders are completely harmless. However, I'm afraid that this video won't help abate any fears that you currently hold. The animals on this list are ordered by increasing subcutaneous lethal dose 50%. So the further up the list we go, the smaller the amount of venom it would take to potentially end your life. Number 15. Blue Ringed Octopus This shy and golf ball sized octopus has a venomous bite with an LV50 of just 0.3 to 0.36 milligrams per kilogram. One milligram is about the same weight as a dollar bill or a large grain of sugar. And already on this list, we have a venom deadly enough to be lethal in amounts that weigh less than that for mice. It takes around 25 milligrams of the venom to kill an adult human male. However, a single blue ringed octopus carries enough venom to kill 26 humans. The tiny octopus will bite when threatened, and many don't even feel the tiny cut on their skin, only noticing that they have been envenomed when symptoms begin appearing. Said symptoms include respiratory problems, paralysis, heart failure, blindness, and death in as little as 15 minutes if left untreated. There is no antivenom for blue ringed octopus bites. Your only hope is artificial respiration until symptoms subside. So be sure to avoid the pretty blue rings of this octopus if you ever find yourself on the coast of Australia. Quick note, you'll soon notice that Australia is mentioned regularly in this video. Number 14. The Stonefish. The spines lining the stonefish's back contain a crude venom with an LD50 of just 0.3 mg per kilogram. This makes the stonefish the most venomous fish in the world, and of course, it lives in the Indo-Pacific region and around Australia. The venom is actually injected based on pressure placed onto the fish, so if you happen to step on one with your full weight and foot, you're probably going to receive a large and lethal dose of venom. The venom causes severe pain, muscle corrosion, tissue death, nerve damage, and paralysis, making the stonefish a perfect fish for your aquarium. Luckily, there is an antivenom available for stonefish, though an untreated sting could certainly kill you. We recommend checking out Smarter Every Day's video for more information about the stonefish. Number 13. The Deathstalker Scorpion. Scorpions are one of the oldest venomous animals on the planet with ancestors going back over 400 million years. So it's no surprise that one species had enough time to produce one of the deadliest venoms on the planet with an LD50 of just 0.25 milligrams per kilogram. These tiny killers carry enough of their venom to kill a child or someone allergic to this venom, but are rarely fatal to healthy adults. However, a sting will cause excruciating pain. They are found wandering North Africa and the Middle East and mainly feed on insects, something their venom is very well suited for killing quickly. For some reason, a rumor is floating around that scorpions can glow in the dark to confuse predators. This is completely false. Scorpions only glow under UV light, not to mention that glowing in the dark would be the worst defense imaginable for something trying to hide from predators in the dark. Number 12. Mojave Rattlesnake. The neuro and hemotoxins that this snake produces have an LD50 of 0.21 mg per kilogram. Found living from the Mojave Desert to central Mexico, the Mojave Rattlesnake is perhaps the most toxic snake in the Americas based on LD50. They are most active from April to September and may accidentally be encountered by humans as they blend in with their environment very well. The venom transferred in a bite from the Mojave rattlesnake will produce extreme pain, destroy tissue, kill nerves, and can be lethal. Lucky for us, the snakes rattle to warn nearby animals to stay far away, and an antivenom is also available. 
though there are still several deaths caused by these snakes every year. Number 11. The Assassin Caterpillar. Didn't expect to see a squishy moth larvae on this list, did you? Found in southern Brazil and down into Uruguay, the hemotoxin that the assassin caterpillar carries has an LD50 of 0.19 mg per kilogram, which causes internal hemorrhaging around the sting site if you happen to be unlucky enough to place a body part onto the green caterpillar. Fortunately, one caterpillar doesn't seem to carry enough venom by itself to result in the death of a healthy human adult. However, the caterpillars like to hang out in large groups on trees, accidentally lean your hand against them, and you'll probably bleed to death from the inside. An antivenom has been produced for the caterpillar's venom, but that doesn't mean stepping on one hurts any less. Number 10. Sydney Funnelweb Spider. For some reason, Australia seems to be home to numerous incredibly toxic organic death machines, yet millions of people still insist on living there. Male spiders of this species carry a trachotoxin, a venom with an LD50 of 0.16 to 0.25 mg per kilogram. The fangs of this spider are like long, hardened daggers, which can pierce a toenail with a good enough strike. In fact, the fangs sink so deep when the spider strikes that it has to be pulled or vigorously shaken from the skin. The funnelweb spider's venom attacks the respiratory system and could potentially cause death in just 15 minutes. Since 1981, there have been hundreds of bites, but, thanks to the creation of an antivenom, there hasn't been a single death attributed to this spider for decades. Number 9. The Brazilian Wandering Spider. If you've watched our video covering deadly toxins, which you may notice needs to be reworked after the LD50s in this video, then you should already know a thing or two about the Brazilian Wandering Spider. Phonutria nigra venter toxin 3 with an LD50 of just 0.134 mg per kilogram is what makes this spider the most venomous in the world. If enough venom is delivered in a bite, death due to paralysis and asphyxiation may occur, though it does have a third symptom known as priapism. You could look up what that means for yourself, though grade A under A has referred to this spider as the bone of death one because of it. The Brazilian wandering spider gets its name because of its exploration of the jungle floor at night, before it finds a place to lay low during the day. One of these places could be a patch of bananas which in turn puts the spider on a boat to a foreign country to be sold to an unsuspecting family. An antivenom exists, though if you're in a country thousands of miles away from Brazil, you may have trouble getting it. Number 8. Maricopa Harvester Ant. I'd bet you didn't think that the most venomous insect in the world would be an ant, huh? The sting of the Maricopa harvester ant, found almost exclusively in Arizona, has an LD50 of just 0.12 mg per kilogram. The sting of a single harvester ant will inflict an intense burning pain that lasts around 4 hours. Fortunately, each ant weighs a little less than a milligram themselves, so it would take over 200 stings to kill a full-grown adult, unless you happen to be allergic to them. Unfortunately, each sting contains an alkaloid which alerts other ants in the vicinity and triggers them to attack as well. No antivenom exists for these ants, but it is doubtful that anyone has actually died due to Maricopa harvester ants. Yet. Number 7. Black Tiger Snake. Back to the subtropical areas of Australia we go. The LD50 of the black tiger snake's venom is around 100 micrograms per kilogram. That's 2,000 times deadlier than sodium cyanide. Tiger snakes are quick to flee from humans, though if threatened, they can strike with incredible accuracy and carry enough venom to kill dozens of people. The cocktail of toxins that a black tiger snake delivers can kill within 30 minutes through a combination of blood clotting and paralysis. Antivenom has greatly reduced the number of deaths per year caused by tiger snakes, though untreated bites have a mortality rate of 40 to 60 percent, and there are still victims every year or so who couldn't manage to make it to a hospital quickly enough. Number 6. Mini Banded Crate. Southern China, Vietnam, and Taiwan are home to an incredibly venomous and cannibalistic snake species. The mini banded crate has a special neurotoxin with an LD50 of just 90 to 108 micrograms per kilogram, 
a venom which causes very little pain and next to no swelling. But a few hours after being bitten, symptoms of the bite finally appear in the form of double vision, flu-like symptoms, and difficulty breathing. All crate species feed on a variety of animals such as fish and frogs. However, they are also adapted to feed on other snakes, even those of their own species. Yet interestingly, they are very placid snakes and seem to only attack when threatened directly. Number 5 Dubois Sea Snake From here on, we won't be leaving the area around Australia and the Indian Ocean as we cover the top 5 most venomous animals in the world. The majority of sea snakes are incredibly venomous, but the Dubois Sea Snake is by far the most venomous of the bunch, holding a venom with an LD50 of just 44 micrograms per kilogram. Have you ever seen a moray eel before? They are the eels with huge jaws and a second pair of jaws that extend from their throat used to swallow prey. Yeah, the Dubois Sea Snake hunts and eats juveniles of those eels. Considering the fact that moray eels can easily take off human fingers, it's no wonder that the Dubois Sea Snake has such a powerful and quick-acting neuro and hemotoxic venom. Luckily for us, sea snakes are very docile snakes and only use venom when defending themselves around 25% of the time. Number 4 The Sea Wasp With an LD50 of just 40 micrograms per kilogram, this translucent jellyfish is both the most venomous and deadliest jellyfish in the world as it is responsible for over 100 human deaths since 1884. The tentacles of the sea wasp can reach up to 3 meters in length and house thousands of small cnidocytes which act like tiny little poison darts that launch venom into the skin of animals. A single large sea wasp carries enough venom to kill about 60 people, though stings are usually mild. However, if you somehow became tangled in the jellyfish, the amount of venom released from its stingers could end your life by cardiac arrest in just 2 to 5 minutes. Victims of its sting describe the pain that the tentacles inflict to be like being branded by a hot iron wherever it lands on the skin. An anti-venom is available, but if you've been stung badly enough to need it, you may never make it back to shore. Number 3 The Eastern Brown Snake Known as the second most venomous snake in the world, the Eastern Brown Snake's cocktail of neurotoxins and blood coagulants have an LD50 of just 36.5 to 50 micrograms per kilogram. This snake can frequently be found on farmland as they are attracted to their main food source, mice, which usually hang around human settlements. A bite from an Eastern Brown Snake can cause convulsions, dizziness, kidney failure, paralysis, and of course, death if left untreated. Even though the Eastern Brown is only the second most venomous snake in the world, in Australia, 60% of all fatal snake bites can be attributed to the Eastern Brown snake. You know, it almost feels as if Australia was never meant to house human life. Number 2 The Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan's venom drop for drop makes it the most venomous snake on the planet and clocks in at an LD50 of just 25 micrograms per kilogram. A single snake can carry enough venom to kill over 200,000 mice, or around 55 adult humans. The cocktail of venom carried by the Inland Taipan seems to be designed to kill everything as it contains neurotoxins, hemotoxins, myotoxins, and possibly more, which all boils down to an untreated bite killing over 80% of those bitten. When bitten, your tissues quite literally break down and lead to your organs failing. The best thing about this snake is that it changes colors from winter to summer, making it even more difficult to identify. Luckily for most living creatures, this snake is only found in remote areas of Central Australia. But seriously, if you're afraid of snakes or spiders, why would you ever live in Australia? Number 1 Alright, now be honest. Coming into this video, did you even have the slightest idea that the most venomous animal on the planet would be a snail? The Geography Cone Snail, only 6 inches in length when full grown, houses a venom made up of a complex of hundreds of toxins which have an LD50 ranging between 12 and 30 micrograms per kilogram. And, of course, this specific snail lives along the northern coast of Australia, 
an all-around wonderful destination for family vacations. The cool little tube that you see sticking up from the shell acts as a chemoreceptor to pick up the scent of nearby prey. The method by which a cone snail delivers venom is by a hidden harpoon that it launches into its victims from the inside of its mouth. The venom acts so quickly that people used to believe that you only had enough time to smoke a cigarette before you kicked the bucket. Well, I suppose it makes sense that the geography cone snail has such a powerful and fast-acting venom. After all, it's a snail. It's not as if it can chase down its prey. As always, be sure to check the description for sources. Till next video, cheerio! Just remember, you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. It bites you and you die, it's venomous. You bite it and I die, it's voodoo. <laughs>